Okay. So, this is a 12 volt, or sorry, 24 volt uh, DC motor. <clears throat> Runs up to 7,000 RPM or more, whatever. Um, there's a diamond back, polycrystalline diamond FDM nozzle screwed into the hollow shaft. Um, and there's a piece of white PLA stuck in through a Bowden tube all the way down the hollow shaft until it butts up, I'm not sure if you can see that, right up against the inside of the diamond in the nozzle. <clears throat> the filament is basically touching the backside of the diamond. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is extrude this filament without uh, applying any heat to the nozzle or anything like that, just by the rotational frictional heat of the filament pushing up against the nozzle. Uh, so I guess with no further ado, here goes nothing. Oh fuck, okay. Hold on. Ugh. These these wires are constantly prone to uh, to various forms of uh, shorting. Yeah, okay, we're still clear. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Oh, I can almost see something. Oh, there we go. We're extruding. Keep pushing. Keep, keep pushing, it's doing it. It's at 12 volts at about 0.9 amps. Just hand pushing it, man, just hand pushing it. It kind of rubberizes and plasticizes, but it, since it's non-thermal, it's very <clears throat> different from typical sort of liquidous situation that you'd see in a regular FDM machine. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to what to make of that. Um, the filament is all bound up and twisted strangely. It has an unusual, like, rough surface texture compared to the stock material. You get a shot on the table? There we go. And there's no clog in the nozzle or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, it's basically clear through and through. Just nice. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm going to have to hold it up to the light for you to be able to look down like that. Okay. Look down the barrel. I could see the other way. <clears throat> okay, cool. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, I'm not sure what to make of that, but we're going to try it with aluminum and copper wire. Probably without tip heating at first. Maybe with tip, tip heating, with some kind of heating element. Basically using the diamond itself as a heater. Um, probably tomorrow or over the, the weekend, something like that. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure what to make of it, but let me show you the difference between the extrudate and the feedstock so that you know there's some difference between the two. <clears throat> Left hand here is extrudate, right hand is feedstock. So, and we'll include some uh, images of it later. This is a one millimeter nozzle, by the way. So, yeah, okay. Uh, 